ApeCoin price primed to enter the top 20 by forming a new all-time high beyond $30 soon. ApeCoin demonstrated huge bullish momentum since its creation, and after a brief consolidation, the token surged again, displaying huge momentum. Despite a slight pullback in the past few hours, the ape price is expected to surge, reaching a record high soon. The price may experience a small consolidation before reaching that all-time high. The ape price flipped and broke from the lower support close to $11. This ignited a slow yet steady uptrend towards $13. After a short consolidation, the price surged with huge intensity by more than 30% since the early trading hours. As of now, it is hovering around $17. The price began consolidating and has since pulled back below $16, forming the flag of a huge bullish flag pattern. Price is expected to stay at these levels for a while before breaking out and reaching the all-time high. It may hover around $20 in the meantime. And here are some more technical indicators, uh, some ape technical analysis, some pivotal levels. You can look more into that there. Up next, Polygon or Matic, price to hit $1.70 soon. This is when you should buy. Here is a chart uh, that you can see here, some of the price action that's been going on lately. Polygon, Matic is uh, in Ethereum token that powers the Polygon network, it is exhibiting an interesting pattern and forming a buying pressure that will fuel the further upswing for Polygon. At the moment, Polygon is experiencing a price rally with the price going from $1.24 to $1.69 in just a week. The altcoin is predicted to have a bull run soon. On March 15th, altcoin prices traded low at $1.33 and surged 30% to move above the range high. However, the bulls couldn't maintain the upswing and this led to a 23% crash that wiped out the March 15th swing low at $1.33. The price action is important because it forms a foundation for a triple bottom pattern. Matic is currently trading at $1.44 with a surge of 2.10% over the past day. Polygon bill bulls need to break past the 50% retracement level at $1.47 in order to reverse the current downtrend. If this fails, the price could drop to $1.33, completing a bottom reversal pattern and igniting a massive increase in buying pressure. This event will cause the price to break $1.47 and could rise as high as $1.69. This uptick will result in a 30% increase, but bulls are expected to slow down at this point. Maddox Geom model is what is driving the price upwards. The out of the money metric suggests that the price could go up to $1.72, which would be a serious problem. Approximately 48,000 addresses have purchased 3.67 billion Matic tokens. The number of addresses is large, but the number of tokens purchased is significant. This hurdle is low to no resistance from a technical perspective. So I'd be interested to see what you guys think. What, where do you think, if you're interested um, in Polygon, if you're invested in it, where do you think the price is gonna go? I always like to get other people's opinion on where, what they think, what their technical analysis is and see how that pans out. Uh, up next here, XRP again. Uh, price faces hurdle near 80 cents. Is 65 cents on the way? XRP's price has been dropping recently following a few days of consolidation. This could mean that the coin could fall even further to lows near 65 cents from its current price of 90 cents. For now, it looks like the price is stuck in a trading range between the 65 cent and 90 cent area. Since its all-time high on November 10th, the price of XRP has fallen 55%. The cryptocurrency has traded in a range since December, oscillating between 80 cents and 62 cents. Such range-bound moves usually sweep one side before tilting and making a run to the other side. On the daily chart, the XRP price rose above the range high on December 23rd before turning a $34 downswing. The move tested the swing lows from where the XRP buyers pulled up the demand. While the price of XRP has been low so far, renewed buying pressure could push it up to $0.85 cents and $0.90. Cents. This momentum oscillators, namely RSI and the MACD, are both skewed on the negative side. As of writing, XRP USD reads at $0.75, cents, down 3.12% for the day. With all the SEC talk, everything that's been going on, that makes sense as to why um, there's so much price action, uh, highs, lows, you know, kind of makes sense. That's why it's always important to read the news, kind of stay in tune with what you're, you're invested in. 
Uh, up next here, ETH may fall below $3,000. Ethereum's price is likely to face a crucial support level, which could take the second digital asset to the downside. ETH USD is currently trading at $3,077, down by 79.79%. Excuse me. The price hit a high today of $3,169, but has since pulled back. ETH USD is likely to cross below the nine-day moving average in the coming days. The Ethereum price is facing some challenges right now. Many traders were expecting it to resume its uptrends, but the nine-day moving average is still below the 21-day moving average. Although the Ethereum price is currently hovering above the nine day moving average and changing hands at $3,077, it hasn't broken through to the upper boundary of the channel yet. Further analysis is required to determine the market direction. However, a bearish drop may continue to roll the market down to the support level of $2,600, $2,400, and even $2,200. While a possible bullish surge may drive the market towards the upside to hit the nearest resistance at $3,500, as of $3,600, $3,800, and $4,000 may provide further resistance levels for the market. Meanwhile, the relative strength index 14 is still below 50 level. Crossing above this level may cause the coin to revisit the $3,200 resistance level. Bitcoin is looking weak against Ethereum as the bulls couldn't push the price above the nine day and 21 day moving averages. And here is a chart of that movement. If the market drops and faces a lower boundary of the channel, the next key supports may come at 6,700 sat and below. However, there are also some potential risks to consider. If the market moves upwards, it could reach a resistance level of 8,200 sat. But if the relative strength index 14 crosses below 40, that could indicate a bearish trend. Who knows? Price is all over the place lately. I know we've been talking about this a lot. Up, down, up, down. Who knows where it's going to go? So if you're invested in Ethereum, hopefully some interest to you. Up next here, crypto analyst predicts 800% Solana price rally builds up long-term position. A popular cryptocurrency analyst has predicted that the price of Solana could rally over 830% over the long term as it moves to the $1,000 mark. The trader revealed he is building up a long-term position on the cryptocurrency. On Twitter, Immortal revealed that he has been buying up Solana tokens around and below $100 and believes that with patience, it's a good play as he sees it as a long-term investment. This long-term investment strategy means a trader will be scaling slowly and that there are always opportunities to buy, especially if big discounts are available. I always think that people do this, like big names in the space do this to kind of, you know, have their own effect on the market price and kind of drive it to where it wants to go, but that's just my thought on it. He also says that thinking about short-term price targets is incorrect and that he will instead be focusing on capital allocation. The trader's analysis of Solana showed that it appeared to have a major support zone around the $80 mark. He added slowly to his position there, but warned that there may be entry points below the $100 mark as well. In a separate tweet, he predicted Sol could reach $1,000 in the future. Solana broke through a key technical level in March, recording double-digit returns and becoming the best performing crypto asset among the top coins. I really like Solana. Obviously, always do your own research. Look into it if it's something you want to invest in. Sounds like there could be some good uh, upcoming opportunities and timeframes to get in on it. According to Crypto Compare's asset report, the price of Solana rose 23.2% in March. The cryptocurrency's rise saw it rec record double-digit returns for the first time since October 2021 and break through its 50-day moving average for the first time in 2022. Solana is a blockchain startup that was founded by former Qualcomm, Intel, and Dropbox engineers. It uses a delegated proof-of-stake consensus algorithm to improve its speed and throughput. So... That's pretty interesting. Who knows, again, where that's going to go. Uh, there's a lot of different predictions as to where Solana is going to go to. That is his opinion on that. And up, last but not least, Shark Tank's Kevin O'Leary unveils large crypto portfolio, says he's accumulating Solana, Polygon, and three additional altcoins. It is not surprising to me at all. Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary says he has maxed out his crypto portfolio by making big bets on a slew of different types of altcoins and Ethereum challengers. In a recent interview on the Scott Melker podcast, the investor mentioned that he came to the realization that digital assets are more like software than currency. This prompted him to make allocations into a wide range of altcoins. That's an interesting take on it. I mean, these people that have so much money, they make decisions and, 
you know, a lot of people seem to follow suit. So we'll see how him coming out with this affects the markets. O'Leary highlights Solana, Ethereum, Scaling Solution, Polygon, High Speed Cryptocurrency Network, Hedera, Hashgraph, Decentralized Exchange, Dex, Serum, SRM, and Internet of Things, Focus Network, Helium, HNT, as some of his favorite projects. Currently, most blockchains don't have the capacity to handle worldwide adoption. O'Leary believes that high throughput chains like Solana and Layer 2 solutions like Polygon have a lot of potential. And I don't disagree with that. Um, but that is all I have for you today. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment on what you want to see in a future video, and we'll see you next time.